Hello, welcome back to the Left in the Past. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm at the historic Wright Hotel in Chatsworth, Georgia. In 1909, Thomas and Laura Wright opened this hotel up for business. It was built as a resort that attracted travelers from the north and the south that came to Chatsworth in the summer months. And the travelers was coming for the mineral waters, the cool mountain breeze, southern home cooking, and the overall beauty that Chatsworth has to offer. People from all walks of life, such as school teachers, jurors, judges, politicians, and even honeymooners spent time at the Wright Hotel which was also the home of the Wright family theirself. The hotel itself is a historic landmark and inside it holds many historic displays. One of the most famous displays inside being the bathtub that Mrs. Wright was baptized in. And the hotel is unfortunately closed for the season so I am unable to go inside but I do have many pictures of what the inside looks like. But whenever the hotel does open up back for season I will be um, going in there and exploring for you guys. But now I'm going to show y'all pictures of what the inside looks like. And this is the bathtub that Thomas Wright was baptized in. Now I'm going to walk around and show you the historic Wright Hotel. It's an absolute beautiful building. And this was the sign that was behind me in the intro when I was telling a little bit of the history about it. It says the historic Wright Hotel. And these um, benches kind of look like church pews in a way, but I'm not exactly sure what they was used for. It kind of looks like there was a doorway right here. And the hotel itself is three stories. But now I'm gonna tell you a little bit more history about the hotel. Thomas and his wife Laura were both farmers. And around 1907, Thomas decided to stop farming and build the hotel. As well as being a farmer, Laura Wright was a builder, architect, and along with Thomas's cousins, supervised the construction of the Wright Hotel. As I mentioned before, it was the home to Thomas, Laura, and their six children. During its construction, Thomas rented a brick plant for a year to make the rose-colored bricks to build his hotel. And the heart pine lumber needed for construction was cut from his farm and aged for a year before its use. As well as the bathtub Mr. Wright was baptized in, other historic displays and memorabilia can be seen such as the rock at the bottom of the stairs that mail for guests was placed under, along with original furniture and Indian pottery and baskets. The hotel also housed a collection of nursing paraphernalia belonging to Kate Rain, the daughter of Mr. Wright, who served as a nurse on the Indian reservations on the Southwest. But now I'm gonna walk around the rest of the hotel.
And with the Rye Hotel turning 115 years old just a few days ago, it's pretty valid to say that it is haunted. And with claims of paranormal activity, the Rye Hotel is definitely something to come and see if you like the strange, dark, and mysterious. And since I live just about four miles away from this Rye Hotel, I luckily get to see it almost daily. And the second floor of the Rye Hotel has been known for paranormal activities such as footsteps, disembodied voices, and even screams. And I'm not exactly sure what or who haunts this hotel, but I'm not sure I want to find out. And now we're going to go visit the graves of Thomas and Laura Wright. Now I'm at Mount Zion Cemetery to visit the grave of Thomas and Laura Wright, as well as their family. And this is their family marker, it says Wright. And right here is Thomas Wright. December 25th, 1861 to August 30th, 1925. And this is Laura. November 9th, 1870 to July 6th, 1948. And the rest of their family is buried here with them. Catherine Rain, September 7th, 1900 to August 31st, 1986. William James Rain, August 28th, 1904 to, De to December 29th, 1968. Martha Holbrook, January 17th, 1873 to July, to July 5th, 1943. Cordelia Wright, April 21st, 1840 to May 19th, 1915. And this one's a little bit tough to see, but I believe it says Louise Wright. I believe it says May 22nd, 1892 to November 11th, 1909. Hope, Hope, Hope Smith Wright, May 11th, 1906 to November 5th, 1909. Clifford Wright, he died October 10th, 1889. Dora Wright, she died March 5th, 1891. This is Zona Hardage. 1922 to 1984. Willie Maywright, February 2nd, 1903 to April 16th, 1987. And this is Ob Mitchell Wright, World War I, November 25th, 1894 to December 24th, 1963. And I'm sure if you made it this far into the video, I'm sure that you've noticed my hat. It's my own merch that I designed myself. So if you wanna pick up this hat or any other merchandise that I sell, click the link in the description or somewhere on screen and pick your left in the past merch up today. Okay, this will be all for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy that video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. Also, subscribe down below if you haven't already because it's free and it helps me out a whole lot. So definitely do that if you haven't already. If y'all get this video to 200 likes, I would be doing, or at least try to do a paranormal activity investigation here at the Rye Hotel. So go ahead and like this video and try to get it to that 200 lot goal and I'll try my best to do that for you guys. Um, like I said before, if you wanna go pick up a Left in the Past hat or any other merch that I sell, click the link in the description below and get your Left in the Past merch today. But with all that said, thank y'all so much for watching and as always, have a great day.